Okay, this is the Yaesu FT736R, uh, which has got a bit of a fault, um, so it powers up. The original fault was that the um, power supply protection kept tripping out, and uh, that led me to think that it was actually a problem with the power supply itself. Uh, but then the fault cleared itself, and the uh, unit fires up. Um, perfectly fine uh, except that there's no audio now so the uh, suspicion is that there's a fault on the uh, audio board the uh, AF unit and that that fault has cleared itself uh, destructively and so the, uh, the plan today is to replace that board and see what can be done to uh, repair the existing one we do have a replacement board uh, so it may be just a simple exercise of swapping one for the other and hopefully it'll uh, cure the problem. We have done some diagnostic work uh, and established that we do have audio up to the point of the uh, input to the uh, um, AF stage. Uh, so uh, we're fairly confident that it is the AF stage that's faulty. Brand new from Bulgaria. Uh, so it looks like it's in fairly good condition and uh, as new. Um, so, uh, yep, yeah, we'll uh, press on. Um, first thing to do, of course, is uh, remove any power source and we open the radio up. Some work will need to be done live on this to um, establish um, whether the uh, remedy has worked. Uh, we'll take all caution, but whenever the power is not necessary, it will be off and disconnected from the back. All right, we'll press on opening the unit. Okay, we have the AF unit here, the AF board. This is uh, going to be removed and replaced in its entirety with a view that it can be repaired. It is in, a, in an awkward position and it's accessed, uh, needs to be accessed from uh, both sides of the radio. And then we have them in there as well. Okay, the uh, connecting plugs have been uh, removed from the board on this side. I we'll have to do the same on the other side. Um, been marked with a uh, sharpie just so that we um, make sure the right plugs go back in the right plugs. Okay, the uh, two screws have been removed and the board uh, easily pops out. There's uh, two other plugs that weren't easily accessible uh, while the board was installed so they've got to be disconnected and then the board is free and uh, we're ready to replace it with a new one okay the uh, AF board now replaced all the plugs are reinstated we've done a final check we'll check the other side and then it will be a power on test over the um, 
over the uh, time and temperature. Anyhow, I'm on the 706, so it seems to be working. Just thrown it into the corner here, and it's um, it's running. So there's no hum on the transmission because um, I didn't check the AC content. So it's chucking out plenty of DC, so 14.2. So I think I'm back in business for the time being. <coughs> and um, uh, that's uh, that's a good start. So where you must be Baker Hill somewhere by now, Lou. Over. Now this is the uh, F2887103 AF unit. Uh, it's the faulty unit that has been recovered from the uh, FT736R transceiver. Um, there's no obvious signs of uh, stressed components or faulty components. Uh, no sign of heating uh, on the reverse side of the board. Same story, looks very clean. No signs of uh, obvious uh, heating or stress. I believe that uh, the C20 2200 microfarad electrolytic capacitor is a likely candidate um, and uh, it is consistent with um, the age of the radio. Uh, it's a known fault in the power supply, electrolytics uh, becoming leaky and um, causing problems. Uh, I think this is the same scenario that just occurred on the um, audio unit. Uh, I believe ultimately the uh, 1 ohm uh, R30 resistor here uh, which is in series uh, probably failed. It's only a quarter watt resistor. Um, we're going to remove these components. We we'll should see that this one is open circuited and that uh, we should get some uh, strange readings from the electrolytic. Anyway so the next thing is to do is to remove the components and uh, see what we find. the electrolytic capacitor and that's a bit of a surprise that's very close to its uh, rated value uh, 2140 microfarads the uh, capacitor is rated at 2200 so I'm a little surprised at that so uh, we'll keep investigating Okay, the uh, R31 ohm resistor completely open circuited. Okay, this is the back end of the uh, AF board, uh, the amplifier chip here, the uh, C20 electrolytic smoothing capacitor, the uh, series 1 ohm R30 resistor. Uh, so, what we found is this one was open circuited. We removed the C20 electrolytic. Uh, it appeared to be within reasonable range of its uh, plate value uh, but that's not to say that it's not leaky um, it's still I think the high candidate for the problem if you follow this this is the DC uh, supply rail coming in through the resistor in series with the electrolytic which goes straight to ground so if it was faulty it would uh, pull a bit of current uh, also I can't rule out that it isn't the actual amplifier chip itself again you know it, it, it does run into the supply side and then there's a ground side so you know it, it's possible I still think unlikely I still think we'll uh, replace the uh, C20 electrolytic um, power it off and see if it works okay that's where we're at